Last Christmas, I remember looking on Facebook at all of the, you know, the Christmas messages and the lovely pictures of the nativity and the star and the wise men and, you know, and all this sort of talk of peace on earth and, and one of the um, Bible passages that's so often quoted, which Handel, of course, quoted, for unto us the son is born, for unto us the son is given. Um, I remember seeing those images and hearing all the talk of peace on earth and um, at one stage someone made the mistake <laughs> of sharing what happens in that Bible passage before <laughs> the famous bit. And um, the picture was of a very, very oppressed people that were desperate, <laughs> desperate for freedom and peace. And it got me thinking that peace doesn't come about passively. Um, it comes about because year after year, decade after decade, people get up and they say, we are not happy for women to be treated as second-class citizens. Or we are not happy for indigenous people to be treated like second-class citizens. Or LGBTQI people. Or, um, or the planet to be treated like a second-class citizen. And they protest peacefully year after year after year, decade after decade. Or because they don't want the ABC to be taken away. Mm-hmm. And over time, surely, stuff does change. And it does get better. And I think that is really what it takes to bring peace on earth. And I think when that peace comes, I don't think it's quiet and tranquil either. And that was the inspiration for this song. It's called Advent Hymn or Promised Dawn.